I've got a real theory about that though that actors act because they feel uncomfortable about being alive Absolutely. to some degree like there's a level of like uh, uh, being me is yeah. s- some level of like a low level sometimes of humming pain yeah. sometimes and you don't I'd know quite be, who you are yet yeah exactly yeah. exactly and uh, like I moved around a lot as a kid and that's quite a common thing apparently for actors like Definitely. did you move around a lot not at all I actually okay. always lived in the same but, but I, I have friends who absolutely have that okay. and for me I think mine came from being in England but with an American mother and it's not right. something in that it's not that unusual but it was in Lincolnshire like she was the only American person and I was I didn't feel fully British so like pub culture and all that I didn't I didn't get it like I didn't, never did that as a family we didn't yeah. do that so I didn't understand we'd talk about the American side and we'd go to America a lot and like I don't know we'd eat different kind of food and in Lincoln it's 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 quite a small city as well and it's very adorable and very quaint but even with that I felt different so I think mm. that's why I tapped into like voices and you know and being an only child you're like left with your own imagination so you're like so yeah. in that sense all of that then you know culminated into feeling like oh I feel a bit wacky a bit different so then putting on these you know characters making my mates laugh in the playground doing all the voices it's like the way I felt comfortable like oh they like me they like like that and like doing all the first school plays I in fact I got forced into acting I was the shyest kid on the block I know that sounds really insane to think like looking (laughs) out but my mother we'd go to the supermarket and I'd just like stand there and she'd see someone from work and she'd be like honey say hi and I'd just be like she's like you've got to say hello that's my friend you know and I just wouldn't know what to do and I'd be like and I remember like getting in the car with her and she was like I'm a little bit concerned because you don't talk to anyone you're very quiet wow. you don't put your hand up in school you know you've got to really talk you've got to talk because then at home I'd be like blah, 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 you know on my own yeah. so she forced me one day into this like Lincoln um, theatre <laughs> summer camp and I remember seeing the leaflet and burning it in the fireplace the leaflet came to the door and I was like no, I'm not doing that because <laughs> I just did not want to like, the, the thought of getting on a stage I must have been like 10 or 11 or something was the most terrifying prospect in the world I was like I'm not doing that anyway she sort of found the remnants she's like I've already booked you in so burn it all you like because you're, you're going in two weeks and I was like no and we did like Saturday Night Fever at the Theatre Royal Lincoln and like the first week I was like oh, and it was like three weeks long or something and by the end of it I was like oh like I got it like it opened up the yeah. portal so I know this sounds silly but I also I'm such an advocate for like drama in schools I know that all schools actually <laughs> they don't even give it not all schools and I feel like it's so an important tool like not even just if your kid wants to be an actor but like let's say your child wants to get into like you know d- debating or just speaking out loud because most jobs require public speaking even if you're in a business you work for google you work for anything like even if you're a dentist you have to talk to your patients yeah. there's a level of like feeling comfortable with your own expression and feeling like you can you can you know come out of yourself a little bit that i think you can only not only get through drama but it certainly pushes certainly for me when I was a child it was the thing that pushed me out of shyness yeah. and if I hadn't done that I would never have been an actor I, there's no way I would have been an actor if she hadn't pushed me to this it's weird how it worked out mm. then I sort of fell in love with it got bit by the bug as they say and yeah. then only then did I start wanting to do the school play before that I was a bit like I don't know and uh, yeah so I just I, I'm just a big advocate for like drama for any child even if yeah. they're not into acting it's not actually about acting it's like just you being able to be yourself, express yourself, then be other things, but to be comfortable within that rather than like stuck and sort of prohibited because that's what, what I was like. I was like a sh- like in a shell. A repressed kind Very of Very repressed. Yeah. I-